Are you still struggling with timing? Do you feel like you're always underneath the ball or you're waiting at the net for your set? I got a couple ideas for you to focus on making sure you can stay behind the ball and find perfect timing. After you pass the ball and you've done your shuffle to make your and find your hitting corridor, you need to think about finding the first step of your approach on the setter's contact. And of an important fact to think about is when you're finding this timing step, I need you to feel like you are walking. A lot of us go into this run and then we can't slow down. So when you're doing your timing step, make sure that it's happening on the setter's contact and you are getting a heel toe, allowing for this step to be very slow and then you'll be able to speed up and go get the ball and side out at a higher rate.